arc. It is uh-oh, indeed. The Boston Celtics were not pleased with their Game 1 performance, so the only remedy for that was to deliver in Game 2. Check that off the list. What's going on? Lauren Shahadi here with you on this late Sunday night of hoops in the Celts. Made it work with Ray Allen leading the way, shredding the Lakers from the three-point line, and Rajon Rondo doing everything else from everywhere else. 103-94 Celtics, your final score. Allen dropping 32 on the night. Rondo completed a triple-double down the stretch, 19 points, 12 rebounds, and 10 assists in his fifth playoff triple-double, and the Celtics handed L.A. their first home loss of the postseason. Kevin Garnett had just six points and Paul Pierce never really got things going, scoring 10 on two of 11 shooting. As for Rondo, he said, Ray carried us through the first half. Allen was just glad to be of help. Tonight I just was focused on um, uh, adjustments uh, to, you know, Kobe attacking, um, being in position, you know, before, you know, I can get a bad call, uh, helping my teammates out and making sure we move the ball. and. Uh, Big set great screens for me today. Uh, they made sure that, you know, Rondo pushed the ball in transition. We got a lot more fast breaks, fast break opportunities this time than we did uh, in game one. So, you know, we got stops, though. We were able to run. So, you know, the, the three ball did go in the air a little bit more. Three ball in the air a little bit more. That is a bit of an understatement. Allen scored 27 of his 32 points in the first half with a record-setting three-point shooting display. The guy hit eight three-pointers, seven before halftime. He set a new NBA record for three-pointers in a game with his eighth of the night in the third quarter. With 4.42 left in the third, he broke the record he shared with Scottie Pippen and Kenny Smith. Allen also had made seven three-pointers in a game against the Lakers two years ago, but it's not two years ago. Very different and very exciting and in the middle of the action. Maybe it's calmed down just a bit, but Greg Doyle, our national columnist, and Ken Berger, our NBA columnist, are courtside with more. Hi, this is Greg Doyle with Ken Berger from CBSSports.com at the Staples Center where the Celtics even up the NBA Finals, 103-94 here in Game 2. And Ray Allen didn't have a huge second half, didn't have a whole lot to do with the second half, but Ray Allen was Freaking awesome tonight, Ken Berger. They, they really needed him to be. Uh, Paul Pierce was struggling again out of the gate. KG was in foul trouble. Everybody was in foul trouble. And they needed Ray Allen to be the Hall of Famer that he is. And that's exactly what he was. Eight three-pointers, an NBA Finals game record. And not much in the second half, but when they needed him to get going in the first half, they did. You know, that's exactly what he did. And as I'm watching the game, I'm thinking to myself, Ray Allen's having a great game, but I'm not sure who's the best guard in this game, and it wasn't Kobe Bryant tonight either. Rajon Rondo might have had a better game than Ray Allen, maybe. Well, Rondo was not himself in game one. Uh, the, the, it was because Boston couldn't get any stops. They couldn't get out in transition. They did all those things in game two, and that's when they're at their best. When they can get him going in the open floor, it opens up shots for Ray Allen. It opens up things for Pierce normally, not tonight. But that's when the Celtics are at their best, getting stops, getting in transition, letting Rondo be Rondo. And now we go back to Boston 1-1, where literally anything can happen. Now, after game one, it seemed like, well, the Lakers, they might win this thing in four. They might win it in five. We might not be coming back to L.A. Now it's possible we don't come back to L.A., but the Lakers aren't winning this thing. Who knows? But what do you see happening in Boston? I know you don't like L.A., but you may very well be coming oh, back here. Oh, man. Um, yeah, the, the, the way this, you know, three games at home for, normally is a, is a good thing, but the Celtics are not a great home team. So it could could go either way. Um, it, it's a situation that, you know, as Paul Pierce was saying in the locker room, I can't do anything about the schedule. I can't change it. It is what it is. Um, and I think the game what, that we saw in game two was exactly what we expected. And it was different than what we saw in game one. This is going to be a very tight series the whole way. Uh, I, would, I would expect to be back here for six and seven. I'll bring my suntan lotion. Game three, Tuesday night in Boston. Greg Doyle and Ken Berger reporting. So the Lakers couldn't pull this one off, but they did get the win in Game 1. And we all know how Phil Jackson does when he wins Game 1. He never loses. 47 times, but he'll need a full deck of cards to make it 48 against a tough Boston defense. And he needs to keep Kobe Bryant on the floor, unlike tonight when he was plagued with foul trouble. You know, again, my fault. Uh, you got uh, bang, bang, two fouls immediately, and I turned to my crew and said, you think you could play through this? And, and as I was talking to them, he got his third foul and he had to go to the bench. <laughs> so obviously he couldn't play through through that sequence. He just basically got in the ball game and uh, got those three fouls. It really took him out of the ball game, and uh, that's a bit unfortunate for him. You know, he'll get a, He'll get a chance later on in this series to read. 
So will Phil's words be prophetic? When exactly will Kobe Bryant redeem himself? In game two, Kobe Bryant dropped 21 points while battling more foul trouble for the Lakers. Bryant spent a lot of the final minutes of the first half on the bench after picking up his third foul on a charging call drawn by Allen. So the series is all knotted up at one. The Celtics have stolen home court and the momentum of the series. The series now shifts to Boston where Big Baby and company would like to finish it. You know, we can't slack up even though we're going home. We got three games at home. We just got to make sure that we play through everything. Make sure we play hard and just try to finish everything out. What a series this is shaping up to be. We will see you for game three on Tuesday night. We'll be here. Will you? Hope so. See you then.